our project is uh, on remote sensing satellite images we perform different analysis over the uh, satellite images and get meaningful outputs from them these are the techniques we will be using for uh, making various analysis on the data the first one is image processing operations here we will be taking multispectral images which have multiple bands we will be segregating the three and other bands can be also be segregated by applying uh, various uh, other uh, dice and also this is the histogram showing the uh, scale of the uh, which filter is how much and all that stuff so these were the filters used uh, on this uh, map and this is called average filtering and this is canny edge detection in canny edge detection uh, the contours can be seen on the map we have taken satellite images from the eurosat data set and we are classifying the images into defined classes here there are 10 defined classes and we are using a simple cnn model to perform the process uh, here are some of the results that we obtained for example here it is able to correctly predict the forest and here it is able to correctly predict the industry this is a special case where if the satellite images are cloudy uh, this uh, model will be able to perform image classification into seven classes and the architecture used is the vgg16 and the name of the model is glnet so these are the cloudy images that we have so it is trained into seven classes and three examples are shown field industry and parking in semantic segmentation the image is broken down into different subgroup subgroups or segments based on the land cover of that particular area this particular model utilizes the unet architecture here we have shown some of the generated outputs along with the input images this model converts an input image from a satellite into a 2D map which can then be converted into a vector or raster file which is used in uh, commercially available mapping software such as Google Maps or Open Map here we can see some of the outputs of the model with the input image from a satellite the expected output of the data set as well as the generated output of our model blurry satellite image from the satellite and what we have obtained is a uh, super resolution of the same image so this is one such application for GANs if you give two images of the same area from different timeline as input it will be able to identify the changes that has occurred over the time for example in this image you can see that there was a lake present now after a, a few years this lake went missing so the this difference was obtained here and this is uh, how change detection is done in hyperspectral image analysis uh, there will be like various uh, bands of uh, ranging to 100 hundreds of bands in this image we are using uh, one or three bands and we are segregating each and every band such as band 9 band 18 100 8 etc and this is useful for uh, uh, assessing the chemical characteristics and biophysical properties etc at the pixel level Unlike other models where you have a single model to run, GANs is a co combination of two models. So to understand how they work together, the understanding between these two models is very important to try and implement. So having a theoretical knowledge about them before implementing is good. Which excited me in this uh, internship is that the fact to work on the satellite data. And uh, here we use uh, data sets from Eurosat data. And we have done va various image processing techniques. And it is exciting to know that how Google Maps uh, exactly works, you know. Like uh, we will be doing the contour. If we get the basic map in Google, right? But we don't know how much uh, work it has got uh, back end uh, to get the uh, actual uh, uh, clear mapping from uh, actual satellite images. And uh, we worked on that project. By using machine learning, we can also perform uh, various uh, classifications. Like right? not only the processing the data, we can classify the data into different types and all that. The data set that we use from satellites is different from what we usually work uh, with the images that we get from phones. They are totally different. In uh, the normal images that you deal with only have three bands. But in the satellite images, you have multiple bands and uh, getting an understanding of them before working on these models is uh, quite useful. You don't 
don't uh, try to directly deploy the models from GitHub because it might uh, raise uh, various library issues. We have faced ma ma majorly like uh, incompatibility issues. That is like uh, the libraries they used are outdated and now the present libraries are more uh, updated. We should not use it directly from previous thing and we need to update that and we need to change the libraries and versions of what we are using so that it can be up to date and we can work. It's better to always use a Python environment before starting to implement the model. It's because you can install those packages just for that environment specifically and that will not affect your implementation on other models. For me, the entire experience of the entire robotics competition followed by the summer internship has helped me decide in which field I would like to pivot my career towards. It has given me a solid foundation in the basic concepts of programming and image processing as well as machine learning and even in some advanced concepts such as adversarial networks and GANs.